What's going on my dear Comquats? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got more Smash Up content for you, and the review is none other than the Tricksters. Now the Tricksters were released in the base game, and I have to give a shout out to Miki for the suggestion of doing the Tricksters. The Tricksters are a standard faction having 10 minions and 10 actions. You have 4 level 2 minions being the Gremlins, and its ability says after this minion is destroyed, draw a card, and then each other player has to discard a random card. That's a pretty annoying ability. Your 3 level 3s, the gnomes, say you may destroy a minion on this base with power less than the number of minions you have here. You have 2 level 4 brownies that say ongoing after another player plays a card that affects this minion, that player has to discard 2 random cards. And then finally, the big daddy leprechaun, level 5, has an ongoing ability that says after another player plays a minion here with less power than this minion's power, destroy it. But you gotta resolve the ability first. Moving on to the Trickster's actions, there are two disenchant actions that say destroy an action that has been played on a minion or a base. Wow, I said action a lot there. You have two enshrouding mists that say play on a base and ongoing, on your turn you may play an extra minion here. One copy of Pay the Piper that says play on a base, ongoing after another player plays a minion here, that player has to discard a card. You have one copy of Mark of Sleep which says you get to choose a player and that player cannot play actions on his or her next turn. One copy of Block the Path which says play on a base and name a faction, ongoing minions of that faction cannot be played here. You have one copy of Take the Shinies which says each other player discards two random cards. One copy of Flame Trap, which says play on a base, ongoing after another player plays a minion here, destroy it, resolving its ability first, and then this card. And then finally, you have one copy of Hideout, which says you get to play it on a base and ongoing. If another player's action would affect your minions here, destroy this card and the action, and does not affect your minions. Now the Tricksters also have a Titan, the Big Funny Giant. To get the Big Funny Giant into play, it says instead of your regular minion play, you may play this Titan on a base that has no player's minions. And then ongoing, other players must discard a card to play a minion there, and at the end of your turn, if there are no minions here, you can place a plus one counter on this titan. And then it also has a talent ability, which says you can destroy a minion of power two or less here to move the big funny giant to another base. Now the big funny giant provides so much more disruption than the tricks has already had. But the only issue is that in order to get him out, you have to do it relatively early or else it'll be very awkward to get him into play towards the mid and late game when there are a ton of minions already out on all the bases. Now as you could have already guessed, the Tricksters have a ton of disruption. Both in hand disruption and minion and action destruction. A lot of disruption is great, right? But there is weaknesses that come with that. A lot of disruption means you have no power to overcome and win bases. And as we know in Smash Up, the way to win is to win bases. Just like the ninjas, I see the Tricksters as a supplementary faction. Meaning being that second faction that you choose to the first one that you picked. However, we'll find some other factions that can kind of make the Tricksters be the focal point. I hate like sounding like a skipping record, but there really is no card draw other than your Gremlins. Yes, the Tricksters do have four copies of Gremlin, however those Gremlin will probably stay untouched as your other opponents will try and keep away from those. And even with the Big Funny Giant, the Tricksters don't really have a gimmick to win bases faster. For example, the robots are weak but can spam their robots, and ninjas have shinobi. There are two copies of Entrouding Mist that let you play an extra minion. However, getting to the Entrouding Mist cards, as well as letting them stick on the board, is a challenge in itself. Alright, moving on to the great pairings for the Tricksters. Now my favorite by far is the Elder Things pairing. Uh, they have a lot of great disruption and madness cards, which basically let you lose VP. But Paired with the Tricksters, having the minion and action disruption is just insane. So yeah, if you want to lose your friends, try this combo out. It's pretty gross. Not to mention this pretty gross combo that the Elder Thing provides, where you get to destroy two of your minions, which can be the Gremlins, and hence they get to basically give you some more card draw, and other players have to discard two cards. This is just disgusting. <laughs> Moving on to another great pairing is the dragons. Now the dragons bring the power and the disruption in terms of victory points. As I said, tricksters do have trouble scoring bases, so having even more power with the dragons as well as providing less VP for your opponents sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Not to mention the imperial dragon does provide more card draw, which the tricksters are lacking. Finally, another pairing that is pretty dang good with the tricksters are the fairies. The power level and the disruption are through the roof with these guys, and I think it's probably because of Puck. Puck lets you play an extra action or draw another card. There we go. 
Drawing cards and playing extra actions are exactly what the Tricksters need. Glimmer kind of provides that extra power that the Tricksters need in a passive way. Essentially nerfing the power of your opponents, giving you that extra boost that you kind of need. And of course I love going to the community to see what they think are the greatest pairings for a given faction. If you're not yet a part of the Smash Posting Facebook group, go ahead and join. This is where we do all that fun rating stuff. So as you can see, the three highest rating factions voted by the community are in fact the Fairies, the Dragons, and the Elder Things. Moving down the line, the community also thinks that the Kitty Cats, Steampunks, Truckers, Wizards, Time Travelers, Robots, Geeks, and Kaiju all stand a pretty good chance at pairing with the Tricksters. However, what are the non-ideal pairings for the Tricksters? Well, there's usually never a bad reason to have extra mobility with your minions, but I'd say with the Tricksters, I don't really see a good one. If you're placing your Trickster's minions carefully, their ongoing abilities are really in the hands of your opponent. Maybe if your opponents are moving their minions around, but at the end of the day, I don't really see a need for the Tricksters to have extra mobility. So that's why I don't think the Sheep and the Tornadoes are really that good of a pairing with the Tricksters. The abilities seem unneeded, but they could work. Alright, moving on to the favorable matchups for the Tricksters. Now the Tricksters can effectively block minions from going on to certain bases, and factions that rely on being on those bases together will really struggle against the Tricksters. So the Magical Girls and the Mythical Horses can prove to be pretty difficult going up against the Tricksters. Moving on to the unfavorable matchups for the Tricksters, anything that can outspeed or overpower the Tricksters is the name of the game. If you can get a ton of minions out or have minions that are super strong, the Tricksters are going to have to overcome a really big hurdle to win the game. If you don't have your level 5 minion out, the Robots and the Innsmith can outspeed the Tricksters by spamming their own minions. And the Princesses and the Superheroes can pretty much overpower the Tricksters before they even have chances to lay any traps. And that does it for the Tricksters, everybody. If you could please comment down below which faction you'd like to see next. We're at the halfway point, so now we just got the Wizards, the Zombies, the Robots, and the Pirates before we move on to other expansions. If you liked the video, I'd be super grateful if you click the like button and smash that subscribe button if you haven't. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Peace!